Charge of power right now. Um, I live in Etobicoke. We don't have any power. All when I was driving in um, right now, it seemed like it got better as it was approaching downtown. Um, it doesn't seem like the downtown area around here is affected that much. The whole city is affected, but it's not that much. I would say the corridor, the 401. If you're looking up here, here's the 401. North and south of the 401 has been hit hard. Basically, the areas with a lot of trees. The ice gets on the trees. They break the power lines. You said we're not receiving emergency yet. What, no. What could put us there? Um, I think uh, the deputy manager, um, John Levy, could explain that better. If it gets really bad in the next 24 hours, we could have a state of emergency. But I don't want to say that right now. We're not in that situation quite yet. How are people going to get to some of these community centers? Some of them were saying that they're in high floors where their elevators are out. They can't get down, and they don't have money for cabs either. So this how do they get there? Are there shuttles or? This is a challenge. There's, um, I talked about Purvis. Uh, 20 Toronto community housing buildings have no power. So we're dealing with thousands of residents right now. Um, the people that have power really have to reach out to the people that don't. Um, if you know friends in areas, again, um, we don't want, we're sort of stuck in between. We don't want people to drive, but yet we need people to help other people out. Uh, the TTC is up and running. We encourage people use the TTC, except for the streetcars. Um, if you have to use a cab, use a cab. Uh, we have the community centers open, um, and, and, and we have to uh, make sure there's enough food and water to get through, hopefully it, it won't be a crisis, um, for the next three days. We're looking at at least 72 hours now. If the storm gets worse, we, we can't put a number on how many hours it's gonna take to restore the energy and the hydro to everybody uh, across the city. Are there cities people going to the Web Purvis told me that they're monitoring those 20 buildings as closely as possible. He says they're scattered basically throughout the city. And again, I just got off the phone from Web Purvis. He's doing everything in his power to make sure that people have enough food. Uh, they're obviously the most vulnerable right now uh, next to the hospitals and, and the pumping stations. Uh, please, if, if you know someone in those um, that lives in Toronto Community Houses without power, try somehow to get to them um, safely and um, you know, uh, share some food, uh, donate whatever you have. We just want to warn people about candles. Candles can turn dangerous. If you have Christmas lights, everybody has Christmas lights, turn them off. We don't need the Christmas lights for one day. It won't hurt us. Um, and just be careful of uh, heaters, floor heaters are another thing. I know it's cold. My house is freezing cold. I have little kids. Um, we might have to go to a hotel tonight. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. But it's not good to wake up and have a freezing cold shower. And um, we have to manage have to help each other out. The city has to come together and help each other out. What about the street? The water supply. You mentioned the hospital. Nope. 